how to gaslight a narcissist and cause a narcissistic collapse. Let's explore the mysterious world of gaslighting a narcissist by delving into the intricate corridors of human psychology. Get ready to navigate through the confusing maze of perception where reality seems to shift and change. Unlike directly challenging what's real, this journey involves a more subtle approach, a skillful imitation of the gaslight's flicker. It exposes the fragile weaknesses beneath the narcissist's carefully constructed facade. Think of it as a precise deconstruction, like carefully toppling a house of cards that destiny had dealt them. In the crucible of gaslighting, your reality was shaped and twisted, as if molded by a capricious force. The guideposts of truth chattered, leaving you lost in a world of distortion. Your memories and experiences were manipulated into a surreal pattern, leaving you stranded in a confusing realm of uncertainty. But our goal here isn't to copy their deceptive tactics. Instead, it's to raise the flag of truth and reignite the flame of authenticity they tried so hard to put out. A significant point is that a narcissist's constructs lack substance. Their narratives are essentially hearsay, devoid of real validation. So it's crucial to persistently seek facts, not for external validation, as others might not readily believe your story, but for your own certainty. Confidence in your knowledge will naturally attract attention. You've likely spent years struggling to break free from the hole they've dug for you. Now that clarity is emerging, understand that their stories are mere fabrications. It's not about their selfishness or confidence, but their malicious intent. Conduct thorough research, educating yourself about gaslighting, projection, and the traits of a narcissist. When sharing this awareness, focus on the factual aspects. Educate others about narcissism without directly narrating your own experience. This way, you convey the message effectively. As more people comprehend, the narcissist's manipulations lose power. Just like when the narcissist tried to isolate you using triangulation, not everyone believed it at first. They gained power by always promoting their version of events. The truth is your ally. Stay calm when explaining, even if some people or groups remain unsure. Narcissists often pick groups where differing opinions are silenced. By sharing facts, you effectively counter their tactics. By doing this, they might tell a fabricated story to a sizable audience, maybe two to 360 people. If no one questions it, it becomes the accepted version of events. It might not be totally right, but what matters is no one challenges it, so it sticks. This change happens because no one objects. As the story spreads, it turns into a solid fact, now, your job is to organize all these parts logically. After you've done that, make sure people get accurate and proven facts. Discuss these facts while talking about narcissism without directly blaming anyone. Instead, focus on the traits you've seen in the narcissist, backed by research on this behavior. Remember, the spotlight should be on the research, not on personal feelings or opinions. This is pivotal because the more you share verified facts about situations that were constructed, the sooner you can distance yourself from those matters. It's time to shift the focus to recovery. A significant part of your recovery involves discovering a new reality. Ironically, the tactics the narcissist employed, such as triangulation and gaslighting, are now working against them. All their efforts to appear superior are unraveling, and they are being exposed for who they truly are. Despite their attempts, they are revealing their true nature, which is far from impressive. They are resorting to desperate actions because others are starting to perceive their true colors. Witnessing this process unfold, you should recognize your accomplishment if this scenario is occurring in your life. You've managed to confront and counter the narcissist's strategies using verifiable information. As a result, their constructed facade is crumbling, mirroring the dissolution of your previous reality. At this point, they can't rebuild the false image they projected, and any efforts to justify themselves will fall flat. They are trapped, and even their social network is discussing the matter. Whether people side with you or the narcissist, the fact that this discussion is happening is significant. This mirrors the earlier socialization that happened when they first targeted you. However, it's crucial for you to disengage from this situation. Refuse to play their game any longer. Don't even acknowledge it. Now that you've exited this cycle, realize how futile that was to argue based on facts against baseless claims. Embrace this new phase of your life, free from these entanglements. Wishing you a wonderful day ahead. Take care.